Every door has a key. There's a key to every situation. Behind every unopened door, there is a mystery. And the opening of this door introduces us to another in the series, the key. Sure, I stick a knife over your silly looking face. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you cheesed off because I see you got a silly looking face. When you look like that again, you got no brains. That's the trouble with you. No. Nope. All you think about is getting your stomach full. How is it, huh? That's how I feel. <laughs> Not much there, huh? Pretty skinny, huh? Okay, okay. I won't kid you no more. You're too hungry for kidding, aren't you, huh? Look. Look what I got for you. See? <laughs> nice, huh? Sure. It's beautiful meat. Mr. Samola the butcher. He give it to me for you special. Got that? Special. Mr. Samola, he said to me, it's where are you? Where are you hiding? Quick, I've got to put you out the window. No, I've I got to do it. If, if she finds you... What are you doing? What you got there? Pop, Mama? Pop. You get that dirty thing out of here. Go on, you get it out. I'm not going to have dirty things like that cutting up my place. And when you get to the video, you bring me the stress. the animals crawling around this place. You understand that? <sighs> Tell me you understand that. I understand. <sighs> Put the strap back where it belongs. Just a minute. Come back here. Why you not cry? I don't hurt you not no more, huh? You hurt? Hmm? Then why you not cry, eh? Because I didn't want to. Oh, so you didn't want to. All right. Maybe my arm is not so strong these days, but you wait till Tony get here tonight. I tell him to belt the pants off you. <laughs> I get Tony to make you cry. He made the lesson stick. Now you put the strap back. And you go to your room. And you stay there till I call you. <laughs> that bambino. That you, Tony? Who do you think it was? Santa Claus? <laughs> Tony, you a funny man. That's what I say, a funny man. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm funny. What's the matter with you, huh? You look like you're gonna fight someone. Maybe I will. What's the matter, Tony? What's happened? Something gone wrong, huh? Oh, you not smile. Your face so angry. Who done something to you? Joe Fletcher. He's done plenty to me. Your boss? What he done? You tell me. Well, he just pitched me out in my ear. He fired you from your work? That's what I said, didn't I? Tony, he said. I don't need you no more. My brother-in-law, Johnny, he's coming in with me. He'll drive the truck, he said. Here's a week's wages and I'll beat it. That's Joe Fletcher's own words. Beat it. Stop them. What do you say to him, huh? 
You'll not let him get away with this. What could I say? You don't want me. You just don't want me, that's all. I, I can't stand up to him and say, you can't fire me, boy. Tell them, tell your union men. You make him call a strike. Why, well, they wouldn't call a strike over me. Have some sense. But, but what are we going to do? We, we got to have money, Donnie. We got to eat. Well, we'll get a dog, I'll get a job someplace else, I guess. But where, Donnie? You see yourself just the other day. Jobs are scarce now. There aren't the jobs about. There used to be. You remember you said Yeah, that... I remember. I said it. And and what happened if you can't find no job for a while, Tony? How are we going to eat after a week or so, maybe? Well, you can take the job Mrs. Polini offered you. That'll help. Well, sure, sure, I'd do that. But washing clothes can't keep the three of us eating Mrs. Polini. Don't pay the fortune. Why well, would you play something? Now, will you quit griping at me, will you? Oh. I'm not griping, Tony. I'm just sorry. Yeah, but... yeah, I know. You're sorry. You're sorry. Well, I'm sorry, too. So that... Uh, let's just leave it at that, huh? Now, give me a drink. There's nothing in the place. Why not? You had some drinks last night, you remember? You got through the whole bottle, and I haven't had no money to buy more. There's no this, there's no that. Can't you look after this house? Can't you see that there are things in it? What's the matter with you? I tell you, Tony, I not had the money. Oh, drop dead. Tony. What? Don't take it out on me that Mr. Fletcher fire you. I'm not responsible for it. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I get you some food. No, oh, not yet. Oh, sure, sure. Whatever you want. Yeah. Tony. Tony. What now? Tony, how we... Uh, how we gonna get married if you not got a job? How would I know? You told me we get married six months after Vito die. Vito been dead near 12 months now, and we still... Oh, yes, yes, but I love a Pete, will you shut up? It's okay for you to tell me to shut up, but you not done what you said you do. And now you get yourself kicked out of your... Why yeah, don't you go... I'm going out. Now, Tony... Tony, what you gonna do? I'm gonna get drunk. Oh, no, Tony, Tony, you come back here. You come back and give me that money. You... Oh, Tony, Tony, don't you walk out on me. Tony. <laughs> You come to the other room and have something to eat. I don't want nothing to eat. You come out when I tell you. Come on. Go over and sit up at the table. Tony, uh, Tony, he, he won't be here for food. He, uh, he had to go out. I heard. What is he? Everything. I always do. The boss shot so much, anyone couldn't help here. You tell anyone what you heard. I wouldn't bother. There. That's everything. You got the lead of that dirty man? I took him into the park and then ran away from him. Hmm. Okay. He won't get back from the park. No, I guess not. And when you finish that, you do your homework, then you go sit a bit. Okay? Sure. Sure. That's okay by me.
Nice that you love each other. Oh, hi. Hi. Yes, yeah, nice to hear. But is this the only time and place you can tell him? You're a policeman, ain't you? That's right. Yeah. Well, I know it's late. Two a.m. Uh huh. I, I guess this here's rather a funny place to be. Very funny in the city park at two a.m. Yeah, that's funny, all right. Well. It's, it's like this, mister. Bancho was hungry. I, I had to give him something to eat. I see. Do you uh, usually come away from home to this part of town at this time to give your dog something to eat? No. No, I didn't think so. Do you know that sitting here, you and... Uh, uh, what's his name? Pancho. Uh, Pancho. He looks sort of Mexican, yeah, so uh-huh. I... Yeah, uh-huh. Well, you and Pancho are sitting here. Do you know both of you could be hit over the head and maybe never seen again? It's over the head. There are some very strange people about when it's as late as this, Sonny. And a lot of them hang around in places like this. Gee, I didn't know. Yeah, you do, though, now, don't you? Yeah. So what are you going to do about it? I... Well, I, I don't know, I guess. Hmm, ma'am, mind if I make a suggestion? No, I don't mind. Okay, here it is. You tell me where you live, and I'll take the pair of you home. No. Oh, you don't like the idea, huh? Why not? I'm never going back there. For why? My mother... Well, I'm just never going back. Your, uh, your mother smack you or something? She doesn't care about me. She won't let me keep Pancho. She made me take him out and lose him. But, but he came back. Hmm. She, she doesn't like me much because I get in the road or something. She only likes Tony. Uh, who's the Tony? The guy who come to ball when my old man died. Oh. She's going to marry Tony, so she says... That's if he ever says yes to the idea. And I don't want him for no father. 
I've got no time for her, but him. It's even worse. So, uh, you decided you'd take Pancha with you and run away? Sure. She knew anything to do. Hmm. What's your name, Sonny? Seppi. Well, Seppi, it's, uh, it's like this. There are, there are lots of things in life that uh, aren't very nice. Uh, I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Uh, you go to church? No. Oh, well, um, if you did, you'd, uh, well, you'd know a lot about uh, him uh, up above us. Huh? Now, uh, he must be a very wise man, Seppi, for uh, a few reasons. He, uh, he made the, the, the world and, uh, and us and the, 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 the trees and grass and flowers and the banjo here. Well, he, he made everything we know and, and, and see and hear. You follow me? I... Uh, well, I... Uh, what I mean is he, he, he'd have to be pretty wise to have made everything I've said now, now wouldn't he? Yeah, I, I guess so. All right, then. Now, now, here's the point. If you agree with me that he's wise, that uh, that he knows what he's doing, well, you, you might agree with me that there's a, a, a reason for the way things are with you at, uh, at your home. I can't see no reason. I do not even get belted all the time for it. Yeah, it's hard to puzzle out, I know. But later, when when you get a bit older, you you might have the reason pointed out to you then. But I don't want to wait till I get older, mister. I just want to get away from it. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry, Sonny, but you just have to wait. You'll have to go back home. You, you can't wander around like this. But no, I... No, no buts. Now, has Pancho finished his meat? Oh, yes, he's ready to go, too. Come on, then. Give me a hand. I me don't... Hand. I won't go back. Hey! Hey! Wait a minute! You come back here! Come back! he's gone away. Then we'll find somewhere else to go. But I can tell you, Pancho, wherever it is, I won't be going back to all that screaming at that house. You no good. You not speak to me like a piece of mud. Why, why? Yes, and I'll do it again. And you not hit back, huh? You not fit to hit back. Ah! I don't you. You liar, that's what you are. You no good liar. You not mean nothing you say. You lie all the time. All the time. Pig, you no good pig. Oh, sick of you. Ah! Ah! You not push me down, liar. Why? Ah! I kill you. If you ever see me again. I guess we better make a move now, Pancho. Pancho, hey, look at you, you crazy mutt. You're going to sleep. Well, well, maybe that's not a bad idea anyway. I guess we can sleep here as well as anywhere else. It's going to be cold, though. Hey, come here. Wait, you're warm, all right. You're like a small fire, almost. Well, you can keep me warm, then. Good night, Pancho. Hey, you need a wash. You stink. Maybe I 
I'll give you a wash later sometime. <sighs> Night. No good liar. Seppi, get up. Seppi? Seppi! What are you hiding again? Who's this? A letter? Um, Pancho has come back to me. He would not stay away, and now I am go... I am going far away with him. I will never see you again. Seppi. Oh, no. But you've got to find him, officer. I ain't got no one but him. You've got to find my Seppi. For Pete's sake, will you be quiet? Why do you think the poor little kid ran away, huh? Why do you think that? All right. So I'm not being good to him. I've been bad woman, bad mother to my kids. But I not know. I, I not mean to be bad woman. I, I, I just forget with him. Yeah, well, you forgot once too often this time. I make up. You, you find him. I make him happy, little boy. He could be anywhere by now. I looked everywhere for him till half an hour ago. I couldn't find him. Oh. Anyway, leave your address, and if I catch sight of him again, I'll, I'll bring him home. I've been punished enough. I've been silly, wicked woman, but no more. No promise, no more. Tony, he woke out on me. Zeppi, he ran away. I ain't got no one now. No one. Pancho, you stop chasing those birds. Pancho! Yeah, that's a good dog. Now, stay here close to me. You gotta cross the street. And you watch your step. Come on. Just lean now. Watch it. Pancho! 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 taking him to hospital. It was all over before the ambulance got there. Seppi. Little Seppi. What I done to you? I make you die. I kill you. My own son. Give it to me. Sorry. I ain't got no one now, I tell you. Closing door finishes a story. Next week, another key will open another door to another story. Mystery.
romance, or adventure all start when a door is unlocked by the key.